This video is about an econometric test which is known as Dumitrescu Hurlin causality test. It is an augmentation of uh, Granger causality test which was presented in 1969. Before we go ahead, um, I suggest that you subscribe to this channel and support this work so that more and more people could benefit with the growth of this channel. Now we come back to the content and it's about the extension of the usual Granger causality test. In the background we have the simple average of individual walled test statistic which is actually obtained by testing the null hypothesis for each cross-sectional unit in the panel. So this is going to be at the individual level or cross-sectional level. This is why it is a more detailed version of the usual Granger causality test. In of this uh, test, uh, it's about the homogeneous causality versus heterogeneous causality. And if the null hypothesis, that is the null hypothesis of dimitrescu herlin test, is accepted, in other words, if the statistic uh, has a p-value less, not less than 0 0.05, that is greater than 0 0.05 or at least equal to that, then x does not Granger cause y for all of the, for some of the cross sections or the individuals in the panel. In other words, the heterogeneous causality will exist. Definitely if it holds for all of the individuals or countries in the panel, then it should be called as a homogeneous causality between the two variables. So in that case, the null hypothesis will be rejected and the basis for that would be a p-value which would be less than 0 0.05. And then we can say that x is Granger causing y for all the individuals in the panel. So the Granger causality results are homogeneous that is they hold true for all the uh, members of the panel that is across the panel. So this was one uh, explanation of why we use this uh, causality test. An example would be that uh, if we have national income and if we have information and communication technology how they will be linked heterogeneously or homogeneously we have some data and we will experiment with that. But before going there, we have an example of this test applied in one of our articles uh, published in Statistica 2017. It is already applied. So we come to the test. Here the rationale is explained. Uh, all those uh, equations explaining the phenomenon and then its suitability. It is suitable when there is presence of heterogeneity across the cross sections because they have their different features and it's not necessary that all of them have causality. Also if the cross sectional dependence exists in the panel. Both of these things uh, basically make it desirable to apply DH causality instead of the usual Granger causality test. So, we are going to see the results here. These are the results and uh, the causality test uh, have two statistics here. These are the two statistics, the first one and the second one. N and T are mentioned here. Homogeneous non-causality test is represented by H and C. And the first option is that uh, steel production causes national income to increase. Other is the national income increase causes steel production. So for the first one, it is statistically insignificant. It means that steel production does not necessarily increase or cause national income. Whereas the other test is statistically significant. And in that case, national income, when it, in it causes the uh, steel production to change. So it makes sense that national income, whenever it increases, in, uh, increases the demand for steel, which uh, in other words means that there is a demand following hypothesis 
becoming true in this case. So now we are going to use eViews to empirically conduct this test. We have already opened a file uh, in which we have various variables. One is the ICT and other is the national income. These are the two variables that we have already seen in our example. This example and we are going to test this hypothesis. So you can open uh, the menus and go into that but I am going to tell you a very easy way that will take mere seconds that is write the command cause and then the independent variable and the dependent variable and press enter. You will get this panel causality uh, dialog box in which you should choose the second one the Dimitrescu Holin test it says that it will uh, give us the results on in the basis of individual coefficients that is the heterogeneity is to be tested okay and you get the results so in the matter of seconds you get the results and here you see that national income does not homogeneously cause ICT this hypothesis is rejected this null hypothesis it means that NIC that is national income actually causes homogeneously the ICT. It means that whenever national income increases, ICT will increase in all of these countries that we have chosen. Whereas the opposite does not hold true for all the countries, that is ICT does not homogeneously cause NIC. This null hypothesis is not rejected, it is accepted. It means that this statement is true, that ICT is not going to cause in national income to increase in all of the sample countries. Uh, we can see this in our interpretation. So you see that this is the first finding that national income causes it for all the uh, countries and it increases or causes the national uh, information and communication technology. Whereas uh, ICT does not cause na national income to change in all of the countries rather maybe in some but definitely not in all this is why there is heterogeneous causality here but there is homogeneous causality here and this heterogeneous causality is referring to Solos paradox in some of those countries that is ICT does not uh, show its effect on economic outcomes uh, may it be productivity or production itself so this is the uh, in other words we can see that there is absence of uh, feedback effect there is no feedback effect in it there is causality from one variable to the other but not the other way around for all of the countries so this is how we uh, understand interpret and execute the Dimitrescu Herlin causality test which is now extensively used in empirical literature and is preferred over Granger causality test. Thank you.